Hello, it's Peter Rosthorn, and I'm back to discussing onboarding the non-technical Open Badges Infrastructure Implementer. Um, in this screencast, I'm going to be looking at the technical prerequisites of, of what you're kind of going to need to know from a technology perspective on how to implement Open Badges. Um, I've broken this uh, section into three main uh, screencast one talking about JavaScript and how to manually issue badges and and again looking at the JavaScript you're going to need to know uh, going to also look at the technology stack from a, a logical perspective uh, where we're going to look at the sort of the technology you're going to need to use as an issuer an earner or a displayer and to finish off this series uh, of technical prerequisite screencasts I'm going to look at the uh, server infrastructure you're going to need as an issuer earner or displayer so let's get started. Um, the first thing to think about is, is that uh, as an implementer of open badges, um, there is some technology that you're going to need to get to know. You, you can't really avoid it. Um, you can get assistance from, from Mozilla or from other people that are, are building and uh, creating ways to issue badges. Um, but I strongly suggest that uh, you start to familiarize yourself with JavaScript. Um, if you need to do some basic uh, tutorials, there are lots available for you out on the internet. So uh, a simple search on JavaScript beginner uh, in Google will, will yield some great results on, on how to learn JavaScript. Also, uh, take a look at YouTube and you can also find some, some good um, JavaScript tutorials there. Um, some of the basic features of JavaScript that you're going to need to know for manually issuing badges is is the ability to sort of make an include uh, of a JavaScript file. So this line of code here that could be embedded in, a, in an HTML or web page um, sets a reference to the open badges infrastructure, the issuer API. Um, this will include the, the programmatic logic that you are required to issue a badge. Um, once you've set that reference, um, you can also um, make the call then to the Open Badges Issuer API, and here's that line of code that you would set within a hypertink reference uh, where you're making a call uh, with the appropriate JSON file. So this line of code in combination with the um, link to the to library will issue a badge to your backpack. Um, one thing that you should keep in mind uh, with using a sort of a scripting language is you're really going to need to start thinking about how you're going to want to be an issuer. Um, if you are in the position where you're going to be integrating with your learning management system or some other piece of software like Drupal or WordPress or something like that, um, you are going to need to start getting a sort of a more technical understanding of how to, to how to uh, you create modules or or, or um, use modules within Drupal or WordPress or that sort of idea. Um, or if you're going to be doing some custom software development, you're also going to need to know a programming a server side programming languages or language to be able to make calls to the issuer API uh, in code. Um, the idea being is is that you can manually issue badges um, and you can just create JSON files and make reference to them in JavaScript calls or or make a, a pure HTTP request with the JSON file. Um, but if you're going to want to automate that process and integrate it with existing software, um, there is going to be some modules that you're going to have to include or you're going to need to you know do some coding yourself. So when it comes to sort of the prerequisites for getting started with the issuer API and manual issuing badges, you are going to need to know some JavaScript. And if you're going to be issuing badges and more integrated with an existing piece of software, you're, you're going to need to get uh, into understanding how to make calls to other modules and, and how to do a little bit of coding. Um, so when you're really thinking about uh, using uh, JavaScript within the Open Badges infrastructure, uh, one of the things that you need to focus on is, is the idea of how do you embed uh, a library, a JavaScript library from another source, and how do you make a call to that JavaScript library. Uh, also the idea being is if you're going to be embedding the code into an existing application, again, how do you make those calls? So. I'm um, looking forward to speaking further about the technical prerequisites uh, of using the Open Badges infrastructure.